so I am in Riverside um, the night before Nanny Goat, which is a 24-hour race, basically. There's a 12-hour and a 100-mile race. Um, I'm in my tent along the course in some orange groves, and the um, race starts tomorrow. I've eight. run this race three times. Uh, it's been several years since I've done it because I pretty much can't do a race like this, so <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. But um, let's see, the first time, it, I should have looked this up before I decided to tape. I think it was 67 miles. Um, it may have been less, and I ran most of them, and I took naps. The second time, I think it was 62 miles, I took more naps, and I ran most of those miles. Both of those uh, instances, it killed me, but it was well worth it. The killing was fun. Um, the third time I did it, I ran most of 40 miles and I called it a night at midnight and I didn't run one more mile I was just just beat it was during my plantar fasciitis days and I just didn't want to do it anymore so I haven't done it since then and then Steve offered me this gift and so I accepted um, thinking that I'd just do an experiment and film it and see how it goes my main goal is to make it through the night do the 24 hours I may nap, I may not nap, I may quit after 12, but I'm hoping to do the whole 24. So the course is a one mile loop in Riverside, California on a ranch that's got some orange groves and some wind. I'm hearing the wind outside right now. Um, I'm camped in, along the loop in, in the orange groves actually. Um, you can't see my camp from the loop, but it's just a, a little jump away from the trail and so as I come out of the timing area which is the barn uh, I'm just a short uh, distance to my tent where I can take a nap or I can get something to eat or I can wash my feet etc so my goal is to make the 24 hours as I mentioned um, and the reason is because I want to get that full experience which is kind of a strange thing if you haven't done something like this you may have done it in another manner and so this might make sense but at a certain point after you push yourself it happens after midnight two three o'clock in the morning we enter a dark place a very very dark place it's like you go to hell and you emerge on the other side victorious and that victory comes when you first see the sunlight after marching through the late hours just so tired and you just you just can't take another step or you can't bend down to tie your shoe and it's just it's a strange um, strange experience it breaks you or it makes you to me it's something like a restart button and so that's why I wanted to do it this year, even though I really have no business being here. I'll be lucky. I, I don't know. I'll be lucky if I get a good amount of miles. I have no idea. But I'm going to run. The, sorry, sorry. I'm going to walk the majority of it. I'll run here and there. I'm seeing this. Like I said, I'm just doing it for the experience. So I'm I wanna... ready for bed. It's 1030 something. Not sure exactly. Um, it's a lot colder here in Riverside than where I live. Uh, Riverside, is, I live on the coast. Riverside is inland. Still on the coast, being that it's in California, but it's about an hour and a half driving distance. Actually, longer today because of traffic um, east of where I live. So it's a lot colder here. I'm all bundled up, ready for a cold night. Um, tomorrow, we will be uh, meeting in the goat pen. About 200 others, 200 other totally psycho people will be meeting in the goat pen around 7.30 a.m. and we will be heading out of the barn. Bah! Is that what 
that's a lamb, not a goat. Anyway, this is an old goat race. Um, we'll be heading out of the barn at 8 a.m. to finish or start start this journey. I don't know why I said finish. I think I just am getting delirious. Seriously, I'm getting delirious because I just know that this is just a crazy kind of uh, unreasonable lunatic thing to so good do. night and I hope to get some good footage that's not too wobbly. I really want to try and get the whole experience here best I can with a little Canon elf camera. Good night. I am such a doofus. Just as I was about ready to tuck myself to sleep and I took off my glasses and I realized that I was wearing like my 10 year old glasses that aren't my glasses anymore. They're my spare. I had been wearing them for hours today and didn't even realize it. They're all scratched up and it was like, eh, I didn't even really notice the scratches and now I want to refilm everything and I'm not going to. Um, but I just want to just say, doofus. It's 7.22 a.m. and we are about to go into the goat pen in about 10 minutes or so. I didn't sleep well last night. I just kept waking up all through the night even though I had a nice comfy bed. Um, I filled my foot wash bin thingy up with water. I brushed my teeth, brushed my hair, changed my clothes. Um, that's it. Oh, I've checked in, got my bib. I'm bib number 58. Got my t-shirt and mug and all of that stuff. Overnight, the uh, place blossomed into tents. Tents all over the place. I used to be really secluded. Now, um, I'm surrounded and the whole loop, I'm sure, is surrounded. Lots of people here and uh, we'll be ready to go in a little bit. I'm not going to have any coffee quite yet. Welcome to the 10th annual Nanny Goat Boom Car Alarm is going off. Where's my wire cutters? <laughs> they turned off automatically. Oh, good this is Legacy. This is John Wog. This is his tenth. We are here as guests of the Sexton family. Dale, Jeanette, and Shelly. Where's Shelly? All right, folks. How many? Please raise your hand if you've done another nanny goat. All right, see that? So if you don't know the way. <laughs> get no sympathy from me. <laughs> the course is one mile exactly. And I hope the cone of death is out there. Hey. Yeah, this morning. It's supposed to be. Yes. And I've just been informed the cone of death is in place, which means, which means the course is fit. All right. If you don't know the way, like you've done it before. You know, you know the way. I've never run it, but it can't be that hard. Well, there's no marking other than... All right. Okay, look, we've got, we do have a medical 
Uh, it's right over here by the orange mud. They're there. They're there to fix broken bones, twisted ankles. They are not there to fix your blisters. And if you're blistered, if you got, if you're prone to getting blisters, and you didn't bring your own blister kit, come see me. I'll give you some Vaseline. <laughs> I'll let you cry on my shoulder, but that's about it. Okay. If you're all ready, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm a reminder, this is a trail race. You will be staying on the trail. If you don't like going on the grass and you go out and run on Grace Street, you will be disqualified. This is your opportunity. Go in. Come on. <laughs> If you're really fast and you're really racing, shut the door. Shut the gate. <laughs> if you're really fast and you're really racing, get up close ah. to the gate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't get the message, huh, guys? <laughs> All right, we're going to start this thing in a second. Ever been to, and I've been here three times. It's amazing what you guys do. Um, so run your hearts out, and I'm struggling with hoarseness this morning, so we'll just uh, give this one the best world we can. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watch, we so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air. Gay proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Whitney, are you over there? Make sure they turn the right way. Okay. You all ready? Here we go. The count. We're going to have a countdown. Two, one. <laughs>
10 miles in now, I decided to break my fast with breakfast. It's around 11 a.m. and I just had a hamburger patty with a sliced cheese melted on top, dipped in mustard, and I had another piece of cheese. And I'm gonna have some cashews and a Diet Coke, and then I'm gonna head out again. Everyone seems to still have a lot of energy. It's cloudy, overcast today, which is nice, so it's not too hot. I've already changed my clothes once though because I was dressed too warm. So, there's an update.
10 hours in and I am um, much past my fitness miles, which I was thinking was about 20. And that was being very liberal because I'm really at about 15 fitness-wise trail miles, but since this is flat, I was thinking 20. So I'm on my 28th mile. I had some feet problem at around 20, 25, I don't remember, but I filmed it and I got to take care of it. And now I've got the thigh, the quad problems. Problems as in they're very stiff and sore.
flow of rooms of people that they love one day Docked away Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change From hand grenades You love another psychopath sitting next to you You love another murderer sitting next to you You think I'd get here sitting next to you But after all I've said Please don't forget All my friends are here have a certain smell yeah trust issues not to mention they say they can smell your intentions you love on the freak show sitting next to you you love some weird people sitting next to you you think i did not get here sitting next to you but after all i've said please don't forget Okay, I just hit 30, 30 miles, and as I've already mentioned, I'm sure that that is way past my fitness level. I'm a little uh, sore. I'm going to take an extended uh, break, probably 20 minutes, and the part that is sore are my quads. They're just, oh my gosh, they feel like they're going to just drop off my body. I'm going to stretch here in a bit. Um, and the bottom of my feet and my toes are rubbing against each other, so my toes hurt too. Uh, I'm not thinking of taking any ibuprofen, but we'll see. It's going to be dark in an hour, and at that point, I'll do a couple more miles, and then I'll come back and then switch into some um, warm clothes, because it's going to get cold tonight, at least much colder than I'm used to. So... Um, that's about it right now. Let's give you a view from my tent. Try to 
to tell yourself to make yourself <laughs> to make yourself So at about mile 30, uh, the best that I had was a controlled fall. I managed to stumble out five more miles. And while I was doing it, I thought, you know, I'll just go to bed and get up around midnight and see what else I can do. And then I thought that would probably be, probably be pretty foolish. Uh, due to the condition I was in. So on that last mile, I made the decision, on the 35th mile, uh, I made the decision, you know, tap out, just end it, get your, get your uh, finisher medal and don't wake up, go to sleep, sleep till the morning and drive home refreshed. So I got my finisher medal. There was another lady tapping out at the same time I did, so that always makes it nice. Um, didn't get to go into the dark side and emerge victorious, but believe me, I had some dark side issues. And I guess I'm still standing and I'm smiling, and um, so that makes me victorious. <laughs> Good night. So it's a little before 8, so the official race is going to end. A lot of the camp is uh, packed up. Um, the people who got 85 or 86 hours by 8 a.m., which is kind of a few minutes away, they get another four hours to do 100 miles. So I'm just going to take a little walk about and just show the camp kind of closing up. The people are still running. Can you imagine doing the night? Ooh. The goat pen. From the 50 miles, you're on. Hello. Did you make it through the night? I did. <laughs> and you're up. Wow.
like the last lot in Boulder Bay. Don't tell them. Oh, Cindy's so excited. He's like, I'll send you to Winkie. I can work from the house. Let's go. I have to replace what now? That's like pretty far back or there. I'm just looking at. Yeah, hi. I'm going to the camera. Are you staring at us now? Yeah, but I wanted to see this stuff. Uh, okay. 